Hello, everyone. I'm Rucha Nanavati from Albertsons Companies. I'm part of our technology team and very happy to be talking with all of you today. Uh, first of all, I wish you all health and safety in these unprecedented times. A bit about us, Albertsons. Uh, we are one of the largest grocery retailers in US um, with 20 plus banners across 34 states. Uh, if you don't recognize Albertson's name, uh, hopefully you have seen one of our 20 banners in your neighborhood. Um, a little bit more, every week we serve 33 million customers, uh, apart from selling groceries. We also have pharmacies, fuel stations, um, 23 distribution centers to support this big retail network, uh, also 20 food and beverage manufacturing plants. Um, we have an impressive own brands portfolio uh, with $4 billion dollar brands. Um, we are 270,000 employees and growing, growing rapidly. Uh, we are committed to making all of our own brands packaging recyclable, reusable, or compostable by 2025. Um, we totally agree with the issue of the decade of sustainability. Our, our commitment to sustainability goes beyond just our own, own brand's plastic pledge. It is integrated in our everyday business decisions to create better lives, vibrant neighborhoods, and a healthier planet. As you can see here, the sustainability efforts are prevalent everywhere, whether it is products, supply chain, facilities, transportation, and beyond from cage-free eggs or fair trade products energy efficiency facilities, um, or certifying our fleet with EPA smart recertification, and of course, um, distribution centers and, and plants recycling hundreds of millions of pounds of cardboards um, and a lot of plastic as well. Issue of the year. Uh, we can't talk with anybody or anywhere right now and not uh, think about COVID-19. Uh, with COVID-19 pandemic, we are in these unprecedented times and grocery industry is critical infrastructure. And we have seen very high demands. As we all navigate this public health crisis together, Albertsons Companies is doing everything we can to prioritize the health and safety of our associates, customers, and our communities. And to ensure our customers have access to food, medications, and other essential items they, they rely on us for. On supply chain side, we're partnering with uh, CPGs as they look to streamline production for increased demand, focusing on items that are essential right now um, to increase the throughput. It may mean skew rationalization, and we are working very closely with them um, to, to keep our uh, store stocked. Customers are looking for different ways to shop, ways where they feel safe. Along with stores, our home delivery and our e-commerce has seen very high demands. We are working tirelessly to meet these demands as well. We also have waived the fees for pharmacy prescription delivery. Protecting our associates, customers, and communities is absolutely at forefront of our mind. For our associates, we have implemented an appreciation pay um, that is structured to pay them $2 more per hour beyond their overtime and so on. We also have partnered with several businesses that have had to scale back in these times. Um, in fact, since March 9th, we have hired nearly 50,000 associates in our stores, and some of these are from these furloughed employees from uh, other businesses. Uh, we've taken quick actions. Um, and sourced personal protection equipment for our associates. Um, as we are quickly trying to react to these things, we are coming across some, some things that, that require adjustment. Uh, for example, we found out that um, the PPE that worked really well for store associates didn't work so well for someone who was working in freezer in a warehouse. And where it's needed, we make adjustments quickly. I'm particularly proud of this effort we have launched 
uh, with the UFCW, this is Food and Commercial Workers Union, to seek a temporary designation of extended first responders or emergency personnel for supermarket associates to ensure that they are prioritized for testing and provided personal protection equipment. Equal measures for customers as well. Um, we are taking several measures to make sure that the shopping experience is as safe as possible, installing plexiglass uh, sneeze guards you may have seen in our stores, um, you know, placing social distancing posters, floor markers, um, uh, one-way foot traffic for enhanced distancing, um, enhanced cleaning procedures throughout the days, um, wi making wipes and hand sanitizer available throughout the stores, modified store hours so we can clean the store better, we can stock, uh, you know, the stores properly. Um, I was I was talking to one of my um, retail operations uh, colleague and, and he said, in my whole career, I never thought that I would have to stop customers from coming into my store. But that's the hour of the need and we are following that. We are limiting the um, store occupancy for some of our store where it is required. We've also reserved special times for seniors and other uh, at-risk customers um, if they must leave their homes to obtain the groceries. The communities are also in, 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 uh, in need right now. Uh, giving back to the communities we serve in has always been part of our culture. As one of the largest grocery retailers in North America, supporting hunger relief is a natural fit for us. We are proud to be one of the largest contributors to food banks and other hunger relief programs uh, across the nation. In this crisis, food banks and other organizations are seeing very high demands, and we are stepping up to do our part. We have committed $50 million just last week to hunger relief efforts in addition to $3 million we had committed to. Uh, with our customers' help, we've raised even additional $15.5 million towards this cause. Uh, I'm a proud member of Albertsons Foundation Board, and it's a whole network of organizations that are funded through um, Foundation's Nourishing no Neighbors program, whether it is food banks, schools, pantries, YMCAs, boys and girls clubs, and, and many others. And we will continue to be part of our communities and serve the communities. I have to share this. Isn't this great? This sums up, just about sums up how I feel about our frontline associates. We all know that superheroes don't always wear capes. So we're very, very proud of our, our frontline associates. Um, let's pivot a little bit to digital transformation. Um, a recent, very recent McKinsey survey done in Europe found that about 70% of executives said that this pandemic is likely to accelerate the pace of their digital transformation. At Albertsons, as we are responding to all that this pandemic is throwing at us, digital transformation still remains a priority. Now, whether it is about finding a quick solution to the current uh, situation, or it is continuing to execute toward our North Star, of course, it is always anchored in our philosophy of building deep and lasting relationships with our customers, uh, providing omni-channel customer experience that is easy, exciting, and friendly with the right products and right place at the right time is what we are striving for. Um, an example of digital initiatives that, that are near-term, um, we have quickly uh, put together a, an, an option to buy uh, flowers. Um, some people don't feel comfortable coming into the stores right now, and, and um, they can order online and pick up on the curbside, even uh, uh, at the stores which are not enabled for e-commerce right now. Um, and more. Um, talking about overall digital transformation, of course it is not about one area or function. For us, it is all encompassing. It includes direct customer experience in store or online, transforming our associates experience so we enable them to serve our customers better, or digital transformation of merchandising and supply chain functions. Some examples of this are promotion optimization, customer offer personalization, customer chatbot. Uh, these are the ones we're using artificial intelligence and advanced analytics for. Um, we are also on a cloud migration journey as part of modernizing our infrastructure 
to enable an agile platform for all of the digital transformation initiatives. Uh, robotic automation is being implemented in warehouses. This has provided tremendous benefits of speed, productivity, reduced storage uh, space, and much more. Um, in fact, robotic automation also in micro fulfillment center in stores for picking online orders uh, far more effectively. We are also um, implementing innovative solutions like food chain for food uh, for food safety, uh, blockchain, sorry, for food safety. Um, out of all of these, I want to highlight an important initiative that we are partnering with Blue Yonder on to transform our supply chain. Um, we like to call it FAR, it's forecasting and replenishment. Uh, using their uh, abilities of advanced analytics and AI to transform our supply chain. I'm very happy to talk about this initiative here. Uh, what are we enabling with this partnership? Three main pillars, demand forecasting, perpetual inventory, and replenishment. Using Blue Yonder solution, we're enabling end-to-end -end forecasting of our supply chain using machine learning based forecast algorithms, um, accounting for factors like promotion and even external factors, weather, competition and more as we expand. The solution also required change management, significant change management to support new processes as well as new roles. Uh, we have partnered with IBM on change management aspect of this program. In stores, uh, we are enabling perpetual inventory, including perishables. Uh, in fact, even in our stores, we use a system called Chain Track um, that is also owned by Blue Yonder, the solution, and we are using that to enable PI. This inventory management process makes near real time product visibility available for retail, which is equally important for e commerce business. Uh, the third pillar is replenishment. A computer generated suggested orders for end to end supply chain for distribution center and stores with the ability to do exception handling as needed, making adjustments as needed. Um, we have had uh, suggested purchase orders for our distribution center, but this solution and technology gives us far better accuracy based on supply network constraints and store inventory visibility. Uh, computer assisted ordering results in efficiencies across the entire chain, uh, including stores. Want to share this uh, Enablement to benefits mapping view. Uh, the left half is focused on distribution center. The right half is focused on uh, stores. Uh, the, enable, uh, the enablement for distribution center clearly, as you can see, uh, gives productivity gain with machine learning enabled computer generated demand plan, including automated promotional forecast. Um, and optimized inventory levels through accuracy of suggested replenishment signal that also helps with uh, transportation and other operational efficiencies. On the right half, uh, in store, perpetual, improve, perpetual inventory improves in-stock conditions, uh, benefiting both in stores as well as e-commerce and drive up and go businesses, reduces shrink, um, the replenishment, computer assisted replenishment, optimizes our inventory levels across the chain and improves productivity in order writing. Uh, we only need to deal with exception handling or adjustments of the order, which has been enabled on, on our handhelds uh, that run the chain track system. Makes it very, very uh, effective for the store personnel. They don't need to go look anywhere on a computer. It's all enabled for them right there. Of course, all of these uh, benefits, the, the inventory optimization is, going to re is resulting into working capital reduction. Um, I want to share a, 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 this, this quick view of supply chain maturity model. Uh, this is from Gartner. Um, this is their graph um, about optimizing within, within the supply chain and where your maturity level is. So the lower part talks about an inside out view about optimizing within each piece of your supply chain and about cost optimization. Um, as supply chains mature through the curve, you know, less worry about cost and more, uh, you know, think about opportunities. Um, so this partnership with Blue Yonder sets us up further um, to, to mature and have a better outside in view 
worry more about the opportunities rather than costs. Um, you know, add externalities in our in our supply chain uh, planning. Um, so rather than optimizing from cost perspective, we plan around opportunities and profitability, including uh, new ways that our customers are, are preferring to shop with us, more e-commerce, more drive up and go and all other opportunities that come with it. Um, th this this technology is, is going to set us up uh, really well to move ahead on our maturity curve. This is one of our important and strategic in initiative at Albertsons. Um, I want to share our launch video, which I think is pretty fun, and I'll talk to you at the other end. So we are in a process of rolling out the program in our stores. Um, it involves significant change management. So as you can imagine, we wanted to start slow and deliberately learn from it. And we are uh, ramping up now to roll out uh, the rest. Um, I do want to quickly share some feedback from our stores that we have implemented. Our stores absolutely love this. Uh, for those of us who have implemented some technology programs, you know it's not that easy. The adoption of programs that take a lot of change in the, the, the processes that are there now is not always a very popular one. This has been quite the opposite. Um, as you can see here, they just love it. Uh, you can see the comments here that says something like FAR is amazing or FAR out. I think the program is lovingly called FAR across the company. Um, and so it is amazing to see these these kind of comments, um, and and we we look to roll this out across the the enterprise uh, as fast as we possibly can. Um, it is great to be sharing our experience with all of you. Um, thank you very much uh, for spending time with uh, me here. And uh, once again, stay safe, everybody. Um, I will um, see if there are any questions now that I can answer, but thank you very much. Okay. Um, a, a question on what uh, Blue Yonder products uh, we are using. A number of them, uh, demand planning, fulfillment, uh, order optimization, and uh, we also plan to use uh, dynamic allocation in future as we mature using the uh, rest of the product. Uh, let's see. Um, improvement in expired products in stores. Um, uh, surely, as, as um, 
I talked about in the presentation, um, across the board, it is reducing the shrink, which means less of uh, products that is going to waste. Um, I believe there is also some feature of um, uh, around date sensitivity, which, which we're planning to explore. But right now, I think just going after the, the shrink improvement is um, going to help us a lot. Um, another question, um, what comes next for you after the rollout of the program to the stores? What are the next steps? Um, so we plan to do the replenishment for distribution centers as well. Uh, we are in initial stages of the store replenishment, uh, store replenishment rollout. Um, of course, as, as you saw, we have 2,200 plus stores, so we want to get through all of them and, and achieve the full benefits. Um, expect to get the similar benefits from um, distribution center replenishment as well. And uh, beyond that, uh, we do want to collaborate with our DSD partners um, as well through our data collaboration platforms. Um, for sure, as I showed in the in the maturity curve, um, I think it, it sets us up to to uh, become a lot more proactive in terms of our supply chain. So I think um, there's no limit to uh, how much we can go after the opportunity here. Uh, but this certainly sets us up to do that. Um, some question on cost implication of, uh, of COVID-19 to manage COVID-19. Um, um, I can't possibly comment on how much it is costing or something, but for sure there are cost implications. But I, I don't believe this is um, a matter of uh, options. I think we want to make sure our associates and our customers, uh, anybody who's walking through the store or um, uh, ordering through our digital channels, are safe and they feel safe, they are safe, and um, I, I think the cost hopefully is being, uh, being managed. We are seeing a lot of sales as well. Um, Enhanced Sale, in fact, uh, just announced the um, results for first eight weeks, and, and as people are staying home, we are seeing more and more demand in grocery stores um, that absolutely um, requires that our associates are safe and customers are safe. Um, so, yes, it does cost, but, but we want to manage through that. We are managing through that. Are your fire stores running in the cloud or on-prem? They are running on cloud. Uh, it's, it's a SaaS uh, product that we are using from uh, Blue Yonder. Um, I think uh, I will answer the, the rest of the questions in email. Uh, there are a lot of questions here. I truly appreciate the interest uh, in our journey. Uh, happy to share it with all of you, um, and we'll answer all the questions. Thank you so much.